once it's soaking wet, I squeeze it out. I squeeze. Oh, okay. That actually made a mess that I was not expecting, not wanting. That was not what I wanted to do at all. Yo, yo, what's up? It's Minna. In this video, we are going to be talking all about beauty sponges, or I call them makeup sponges, and how to and not to use them. <laughs> I'm gonna teach you what I do to prepare my makeup sponge, my beauty sponge, for my concealer. That's the only that I use, that I don't use my sponge for foundation. And I'm gonna give you some tips on how I apply my concealer. So it's all about that, if you are interested keep watching make sure you subscribe join my text community and you can text me one-on-one -on -one out yeah make sure you comment because i do giveaways randomly you never know you might win you want to win these this is just the overflow from the pr that i get so make sure you do that i also post three times a week sundays tuesdays thursdays make sure you are watching let's go okay obviously before we get into the concealer i need to put my foundation on i've already primed my lips i'm going to use the maybelline superstay foundation in the color 30s i almost wanted to say 3070 it's 370 deep bronze hello this pimple like why i feel like it's there because of the masks that i was wearing so much over makeup this past weekend in North Carolina. Perhaps that's why I have this breakout right here because I never break out next to my lip right here like that. So there's that. Mm -hmm. And then the forehead breakouts are from all the hats I was wearing for a few weeks. A little, a little OD on the hat, see what I'm saying? So yeah, two pumps of this, maybe three, we'll see. I would prime my face, but I'm gonna just wash this off after I'm done, so I'm not gonna prime. But normally I would prime. Let's do the foundation and then we'll do the concealer. Okay, now this part is weird because when I apply my foundation, if you saw, I don't bring it to my hairline because there's no need. I'm going to contour. I contour after my concealer. So as I do this step, it's gonna look even more weird because I have not contoured, but we're gonna do all of that, okay? Now, I wanna show you, this is one of the makeup sponges that I use. This is purple, it looks light because of my lighting. Check out the size of this. This one is dry, okay? This is what it would look like coming right out of the bag. You'll get links to all these products down below. Now, this is what it looks like once it is soaked through and through with water. That's the water. I'm gonna squeeze it out and show you, okay? So here's the dry version. Here is it when it is completely soaked. The key is that when you are soaking your sponge to be used in makeup, whether it's for your foundation or for your concealer, you wanna make sure you actually are soaking it. So when I squeeze this and I'll show you, there's going to be a lot of water that comes out of here. How do you soak it? You don't just run water over this and then you go sit down. And while it's under the faucet, continue to squeeze the sponge like this so that the water is getting into the very center center of the sponge. That's going to allow it to fully expand. And then once it's fully expanded and soaked through and through, you're going to get it to be this big size like this, okay? The pack of sponges that I use come in several different colors. These are two of the colors of the five pack of sponges. Very affordable, less than $10, you need to get them. I've been using these for years, I love them. So now we know how to soak your sponge to be used, right? And that's for whether you're using it for concealer or for foundation or for both. I use mine for concealer and for my liquid highlight okay now i have two of these sponges both are blue both are soaked okay as you can see i'm going to show you how i get it to where it needs to be used so obviously i'm not going to take this soaked sponge and then apply my uh, blend out my concealer because hello it is soaking wet that's going to be horrible and i'm going to show you an example of what will happen if your sponge is way too wet so i've got a towel now what i do in the sink but i'll do it here is once it's soaking wet i squeeze it out I squeeze, oh, okay, that actually made a mess that I was not expecting, not wanting, that was not what I wanted to do at all. Okay, so squeeze out the water, okay, in the sink, obvi, get all the water out. If you squeeze your sponge and you still have water in your sponge coming out, your sponge is too wet, that's a problem, okay? So here we go, now when I squeeze it, let's take a look, there's a little bit more water coming through. You wanna make sure you get all that out and see I'm using a towel, squeeze it even more, and then I press it even more more. So now when you touch your sponge to your face, oh, it's foundation on my face. Usually I do this when it's, when it's, when it's, when there's no, when there's no product. But when you touch your hand, the sponge mainly just feels cold instead of it feeling wet. 
okay? This is the way you want your sponge to be before you begin to use it on your face, all right? Now this sponge is soaking wet, okay? I'm gonna just show you a little bit of a squeeze. Look at that, okay? This sponge is soaked. I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm gonna show you the right way and the wrong way to do this. Now for concealer, I have the Fenty Beauty 430. All right, I'm applied on under both sides of my eyes like I normally do. And then we gonna blend it out and I'm gonna show you what happens, okay? With both of these. So this is the side that I'm doing that is correct. In fact, it feels really more wet than I would like, so. This is the correct one, it's not soaking, but it just feels more damp than the usual. I know how I like it to feel, so I'm just gonna squeeze it out. Okay, I like to start blending toward the middle of my face normally, but depending on the concealer, I'll start out here. Notice that I did not bring the concealer all the way to the end of my hairline because there's no need to do that. We are going to contour, okay? So whether you start in the middle or the end, you're okay. Back in the day, I used to drag this all the way here. Then I needed to make sure that I started in the middle. Now then I'm pinching this sponge and going on the inner part of my eye to get in between there and then making a line down the side of my nose. I like to reverse highlight my nose. You may not wanna do that. If you don't want to, then just highlight under your eye. My makeup looks way better when I reverse highlight. And then of course contour, you know, after this, excuse me. All right, so here's that and here we go. I could really go with a little more highlight, but that's okay for now. I don't want this to dry too much. Okay, so here's the soaking wet one. Like when I touch the back of my hand, there's water. I don't know if you can see that, okay? Here we go. First of all, look at that. Did you see that? Oh my God, do you see that? <laughs> Has this happened to you before? Comment and let me know. Oh my goodness. Like, first of all, there's water dripping down the side of my nose, okay? But looking okay in the beginning, look at this. Atrocious. Look at this side with the sponge that is damp, the correct level of dampness. And then look at this side, which is what you might think is damp, but it's actually soaked. And look, it's picking up my makeup. You have to comment and let me know if this has ever happened to you. It has happened to me before as well. And it was horrific. I was on the way to work and I said, no ma'am, I need to figure out this whole damp sponge thing. This was years ago, okay? Basically right there, letting you know that you wanna make sure your sponge is damp. This is the damp one and not soaked. This is the soaked one. It even just looks darker and just looks different. So I'm gonna take the one that's damp because I have, like I said, in the middle of it, been like, oh my God, my sponge is too wet. Take a paper towel, you I'm using a towel right now, although I should use a paper towel, but here I am, okay? Taking it and then just press it through to further dry down the sponge, okay? And I know based on how the sponge feels, if it's damp, but of course you wanna squeeze it. This is pretty damp, okay? So, see how I just went over it again and it blended? I didn't add any more, look at that. Look at that, come on, come on fixation. Look at that. Just going over it again fixed it. My makeup, the foundation did come off right here a little bit. So with the brush, no extra product, just the brush itself. Gonna go over that, whatever. And then I'm gonna just leave it, okay? So if you're in the middle of this and you mess up your concealer, squeeze out your sponge and then go back and blend out your concealer. Yo, you can't tell me <laughs> that that tip wasn't clutch. The same thing would happen to you on the rest of your face if you ain't, if you ain't taking time, okay? So just go ahead and make sure that your sponge is damp for every part of your face where you're using concealer. And if you're using the sponge for your foundation, I feel like the same thing gonna happen. If you watch my foundation, Let's see, no, you watched, what, what video was it? I know what it was. I did a video where I compared applying foundation with a sponge or a brush, that's what it was. And I just showed you the differences between that. Make sure you put that on your watch later list and watch that after you watch this video. But there's a difference in coverage when you're using a brush versus using a sponge. And it really is based on your preference. But look at how this is blending out. This again is the damp sponge, not the soaking wet one.
Already I finished my face. I was actually filming a different video on eyeshadow mistakes and basically how to apply your eyeshadow the correct way. So make sure you watch that video. Obviously, in addition to this one, comment, let me know if the tips that I showed you about the makeup sponges and applying your concealer were helpful for you. Share the video with your girlfriend, save it, refer back to it when you are doing your makeup or when you just need a refresher on what in tarnation I said. As always, thank you for watching and make sure you are subscribed. Bye.